maybe that first takedown was during that flurry. You almost looked like a lightweight, not a heavyweight. How were you able to get out of that? Um, you know, I just kept wrestling the position. Never stopped wrestling. Um, I mean, I should have got the finish early in that position. Shouldn't have never let it come to that. Got to keep working there. But they're good there. You know, you saw it in a lot of matches. They were good there. But I just kept wrestling. You did the splits. <laughs> you have you done that before? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty flexible. Uh, Spencer says that my splits uh, going one way are better than his. I don't know if that's true, but we've, we've kind of toyed around with that. What's the feeling? The crowd's going wild, clock's running down, you know you sealed the deal. Um, you know, I was just satisfied to, you know, do my part. Just wrestled my whole match, wrestled hard. Does this duel, this result kind of say about this team? I mean, you, I mean, a lot of things happened and you guys really had to tough this one out. We got a great group of guys who, you know, we stayed in our matches. We didn't let the effects of the other matches, you know, boil over into our match. You know, we all were focused on what we had to do. How did you like having the fate of the duel on your shoulders? Just another wrestling match, you know. I wrestle on a black and yellow mat every day. Didn't change anything. Does it happen much in your life when a duel comes down to you, heavy? Um, on a couple AAU, like national duel teams maybe, but nothing like this. <laughs> could you hear them shout out your name, the last, the last part of your name? Um, yeah, I could. Uh, I'm kind of not like Cameron. Cameron said he didn't really hear anything. I tend to hear a lot of like the crowd noise. I don't know why. I just kind of always have. Did you watch Michael's match from down there, or were you upstairs? Um, I was in, I was over in the side room over there, kind of watching part of it, kind of not. What were you thinking? That's when momentum really started to build. It seemed like. Yeah, I mean, it didn't. You know, I didn't. It was nice to have the momentum going into my match, but like I said, you know, the matches they're separate matches. It doesn't really matter. Does it make it a little easier to wrestle out there when there's 15,000 people out there on your side that have your back? Um, doesn't really change anything. You know, it's me in the practice room with myself every day. So, I'm used to wrestling, whether there's hundreds, thousands of people watching or nobody watching. How would you describe the atmosphere out there? It was awesome. We have great fans. It was loud. It was awesome. You think this? What does this mean? <laughs> Oh yeah. What did this make this match your program to get this win? Because it's been a while since you beat Penn State. Um, you know they've been, they've kind of been the team the last while. You know it was good for us to get this win, but now it just comes down to our next duel, Michigan State, and you know just wrestling the rest of the season. One more? Anything else? When a guy goes down like this man took it, obviously they want to give up those six points, but that's what ended up happening. How important is it for the rest of your lineup to kind of pick him up and move that momentum forward? Um, you know, I went upstairs after 141, and Spencer was in there, you know, just talking to the Santo, working him through the match, you know, telling him it doesn't really matter right now. March is what matters. So, you know, we got a great group of guys who support everyone on the team. All right. Thanks, Tony.